any condition at all. Jars, tin cans, rinse out under the tap straight in the recycling bin. It's really easy, isn't it? Yep. Here we've got newspapers, magazines, cardboard, even cigarette boxes. You can put all sorts of stuff in your compost bin. All that vegetables and fruit that were fermenting in your kitchen and attracting all these flies, stick them in here. The intention was to eat them, but I didn't get round to it. No, well, get round to put them in your compost yeah. bin. Yep. And from now on, one box at a time. It's all you should need, OK? OK. As Dave says goodbye to the clutter, the cleaners wade through the muck. And Kim wants to give Dave's fish a new home. Look at them, aren't they lovely? Put them around here. Now, Dave, I must say this to you. This is one of the worst fish tanks I've ever seen. It's filled with algae, lime scale and every horrible thing. What I bought is... I bought it from the hardware store. It's a kettle descaler. When I put it in a spray, it's so much easier when I'm doing a job like this. We must wear a mask, so it doesn't matter how much you hate them. Put them on, my love. They are marvellous. Off we go. You can actually see when you hit it that it's working a bit now. The acid in it dissolves the alkaline. The result is absolutely incredible. You know, I'm going to show you this. When you start seeing a line build up on the water, it's maybe you can't get to it for a few days. Yeah. But so it doesn't get really bad, you can buy this at the pet store. They're just a smashing idea. Look, they're mag two magnets, a rough side and a smooth side, OK? Yeah. The rough side goes inside the level of the water. This attaches to it. Now, watch. Whatever level of the water is, I would simply do this. Look, lovey. All right? When not in use, leave it at the top. Woo! It's just lovely. Dave sets to work, determined to make his house a more homely place. But there's a shock in store. Aggie's got the results back from the lab. Dave, I think it's just as well you haven't had any people in the house over the last few years. Do you know why? You have been cultivating every single bacteria that we test for. I took one swab from your chopping up board and from that got two and a half million E. coli bacteria. And this is what the E. coli looks like. It's very, very... It can make you very ill. It can give you bloody diarrhoea. It's not good at all. It's not! This lovely mixture here is from a very short vacuuming of your mattress. This is a magnified version. Now, the tip of a teaspoon gave me a million bacteria. You've got Listeria, Salmonella, Campylobacter, Staphylococcus. The list is endless. You know, you shouldn't be sleeping with that. I knew it was bad. Didn't know it was quite that bad, though. If you want to let people into your life, into your house, you've got to change, Dave. I know. This is the start of the change. It's the final push. The cleaning's almost finished. Dave has gone over to Tim and Nicky's to show everyone how his house looked before the big clean. Smell, yeah, it probably is. Hi, Dave. Hi, hi. Hello. You're excited. Yes. Yes, yes, are we? Yes, so are Come on, Come in on. you go. Before, Dave's living room was more like living hell. Now it's a place any bachelor would be proud of. Somewhere to entertain. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally different, that is. <laughs> Am I in the wrong house? Would this be the sort of place that you feel you could bring someone to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, invite in. Yeah. It could be a home night. You can have a life here, can't you? I can. I hope I do. The world's my oyster. The bedroom was a horrible hovel. Dave's bed was filled with a bounty of biscuit crumbs. Now it's fit for visitors. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm speechless. 
clear floor. Look, we've made a little computer area for you around the corner, so it's out of your living room. Got no packets of biscuits in the bed anymore. It's cram-free mattress. They have stopped. Keep it that way. I would put my arm around and give you a hug. But... Oh, go on, then. Oh. Oh. You may. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so and so you. She... Oh, um... oh. The bathroom was more thriller than thrilling. Now it's clean and fragrant. How did they do that? <laughs> well, they just cleaned it, Dave. Yeah, you know so quite I... easy. The kitchen looked like a crime scene with rotting food and swarms of flies. Now its horror days are well and truly over. Look! Look at your kitchen! Wow. Did you ever imagine it could look this good? <sighs> no. I wouldn't recognise this kitchen as when we came into. No. There's no smell, there are no flies. I just, look, at, look, at, look at all the clean surfaces. Just... The intention is to keep it clean and tidy and to recycle yeah. all the things I should have been doing all the while. Tonight, I'm going to get my friends up with their kids. It's just going to be totally different. It's a wonderful feeling. Yes. Well done. It's a novelty, isn't it? Bye. You'll it's always good. be welcome. Oh, thank you. Oh, you enjoy you. your life now. You deserve it. Thank you so much. Oh. Bye. 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 Bye, darling. It's truly amazing. It's just... How nice is it now? Really better. Is it? Really better. Yeah? And pretty. Yeah. And pretty. Good. David at this moment is feeling absolutely gobsmacked. Yeah. yeah. Some down there as well. He, he's been a bit of a loner, a bit of a recluse. I think he'll he'll come out of his shell and hopefully start to enjoy life again. Before all this happened, I described myself as unkempt and untidy. Well, that's now changed. It's a new start. It's going to move on from here.